You know, he was the greatest. Yeah. I just adored him. And uh, it's a great loss yes. for all of us. Uh -huh. I've been feeling that uh, I was lucky enough to be at his house in the last couple of birthday yes. parties he had. And uh -huh. just enjoyed uh, your memories of him. And, uh, oh. It's just really something. Yeah, he, he was wonderful. And uh, his collection and all of that. I don't know what's going to happen to it. Do I, I, you know? No, and I was by his, his home just the other day, and it looks like everything's just about already cleaned out. So I'm oh, not, is it really? I'm not really sure. I know there's going to be an auction coming up. Yes. Uh, that was a lot of just a lot amazing. Of stuff. Yeah. yeah. You're Mr. Angus Scrim? Yes. Yes, yes. And uh, we're curious if, if you had anything you'd like to say about Forey Ackerman that we might be able to print in the magazine. Any oh, thoughts? Much to say about Forey. Goodness. Uh, when I think of Ray, the two Rays and Forey's relationship going back 70 years, mine went back 30 when, when a picture I did called Phantasm came out. Uh, I got a call from him and, and we went up to the Acker Mansion and we knew each other since. Uh -huh. And uh, he was just a, a dear, sweet man. Most serene, uh, generous nature of virtually anyone I've ever known. It's remarkable. <clears throat> and his spirit suffuses uh, uh, the lives of so many, which is, is a wonderful uh, heritage to leave. Mm -hmm. I think I keep still crosses my mind almost every day. And of course, I, if I don't fall asleep too soon, I include him in my prayers at night. <laughs> uh, his wife, Wendy, also was a delight. Yes. They both were charming to me. Sure is a, a common denominator I see with everyone. You know, that's the that kindness that he exuberates. Yeah. You can just see it in everyone's face. And, uh, there's something. Be so missed. You know, who, who should I see as I, as I come in almost immediately uh, greeted by Joe Dante and yeah. Tim Sullivan and uh, Mick Garris and, and then look at that crowd outside. Yes. For a love the full house. Uh huh. <laughs> so, like I said, he didn't want a memorial but a, a tribute or a party, so we'll have a little party for him. That's wonderful. I, I have an impromptu. I've been telling my daughter a few stories about Corey going on like that yeah. to my grandfather's time with my grandfather. Uh -huh. And then he was listed as a consultant on a century of Cheney. So oh, yeah. Going all the way back into the late 60s, early 70s when my grandfather was working on that. Corey's mm -hmm. name's on it. So. Uh -huh. but, uh, it's not something. I think probably <clears throat> in my grandfather's behalf. Uh, when they ran the article and the famous monsters about that he was sick. He was, yes. He was very much against it. He didn't want anyone to really know that. Before he, before he ran that article. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it was the first time my grandfather really realized that uh, how many fans he still had out there, you know, really touched him. And uh, he got letters and you know, get well cards and kids making cartoons of the wolf man being sick and Aww, things of that nature so he kept them all I still have and I hope to uh, put that in one of the chapters of my uh, grandfather's book <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, and uh, you know that was all due to Furry, you know making that happen and uh -huh. not listening to him and running it anyway yeah uh, so that was a wonderful moment I know both of my grandfather and then I rediscovered it much later on when I I'm going through all the archives and find all of these letters and wonderful things that people said, and uh -huh. I just realized how much it touched him to know that 
had fans still, because I think he, for the most part, thought a lot of them just forgot about it, because his better days were behind him, you know? Yeah. So, that was, that was special. I still remember sitting in the kitchen table writing that letter, because <clears throat> I was one of those kids, you know? I might have one of your letters, yeah. you don't know. Oh, yeah. Now that I, I can tie yeah, it to, to the go, name. Oh, yeah. Go back through them. Um, yep. I know I had one from Carrie Gamble. I saw it in there. Falco's great. You know, he's the the denominator. You and your mom and stuff. And well, this is it. There will never be another this. Yeah. This is the last big I, I agree. There, there will be nothing. Yeah. I, I agree, of course. Of course. That's exactly how I'm feeling about it. Uh, he's around here somewhere. He, he ran that way and oh, waved, no. and he's not gone. No, 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 but I mean, you know, uh, uh, Bradbury will die. Right. It will not be this. Right. Because he's a completely different man uh -huh. than this. That's why I was... So this is, this is it. Uh-huh. There will be never a gathering like this ever again, never. I can imagine, no. like this. I was, but I realized when I left her, that's like, this will be like a one chance to just go out, take your time, I took the dog... And he's the, enjoying California <laughs> with a dog. <laughs> with a dog. And wow. Thing. You know, because I couldn't leave him with her. Drill across the country. And he's going to be a year old this month. Drill across so. the country with a dog. Yeah. Well, we drove from Mexico with a cat. There you go. Yeah. Uh-huh. In a birdcage. <laughs> <laughs> I know. A long time ago, you weren't even born yet. <laughs> That's just so cool. <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's, you know it's, it's like your son was saying. You know, it, it, he seemed, he's the common denominator for he is. And I thought to myself, you just, if you don't, this is your chance. Yeah. Well, you know, because you know, you don't have, I won't get a reception like this because I'm going to live to be a hundred, and everybody that I knew, well, they'll all be dead, and, and the new people won't know who I am. So uh, the great grandchildren. I'll tell you one thing. The great grandchildren. The monster's great grandchildren. You know, I, I, my top two films: is Split Between King Kong and War of the Worlds. You know. Well, I mean to have Mr. Ackerman up on the screen saying, giving his five favorite, and War of the Worlds is it. Oh yeah. Hello. Of course. Hello. Thank you very much. Well, it's, it's people like Mr. Ackerman. <laughs> Who, make it possible. Mr. Yeah. Ackerman, it, it, he, he kept me alive because he kept yeah. me going to all these places. Uh -huh. Kept introducing me, kept talking about absolutely. me. Absolutely. Right. We, we owe the second, second oh, part yes. of our lives oh, absolutely. to Mr. Ackerman. Uh, yeah. I met him in 77 because up until that time I knew nothing about fandom. Uh -huh. I had no idea who Mr. Ackerman was. Right. And the clue. Right. And then he invited me to everything and kept saying, this is Ann Mom, do you remember her? And I was lost for 25 years. No one knew we were not even, not even George Bell. Yeah. He, he said, whatever happened to you? I said, well, I moved to Mexico, uh, married a bullfighter, and had two children. And as, if you, forgive me, but as I understand, I don't know if you were necessarily that so wild well, into the, the acting thing that you mind is leaving now. I, I did. You know, I made a mistake. Real, my my so two yeah. children are, you know, they're my, they're my wonderful right prize because I, I left at the wrong time. Right. Other people, oh, okay. The transition, you know, I didn't treat it correctly. It was my fault. Yeah, I didn't no, treat it as a business. Thank you. I was having fun. I thought it would never end. Yeah. And it ended just, boom. Television came in, and I wasn't, hadn't worked long enough to become a household word. No, I couldn't just come back anytime I wanted to and get a job like a lot of other women. I, I, I made a mistake, but then everything happens for a reason. And, uh, and then suddenly, uh, Steven Spielberg, I mean, I had... 2005, 50 some years later, I was writing. You were the reason I went and saw that. I was huge. <laughs> I was suddenly huge for the first time in my life. Okay.